Hello. Hello, CP. You all right? Hey, my friend. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good. Uh, but yeah, I've just I've recently came across your YouTube, and um, yeah, I just want to just you know give thanks to God. Uh, just going out there and speaking the truth. So I used to be a Muslim two years ago. And yeah, praise God, he came and saved my life. But now you will not have any versions. Sorry? You will not get the versions. <laughs> no? Yeah, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I think coming to Christ, you actually know what true submission is. And I think, you know, you start realizing most of your religion was full of flesh. Mm. Yeah. What make you leave us now, my friend? Um, I think just, you know, some of the stuff that you were speaking about, about the, the Kaaban stuff. So it got to the point where I was, I was uh, going deeper into Islam. I don't, um, I can't like fully read Arabic. So I was going to scholars and imams and asking them for information. But I just started to read the Quran in English a lot. And I just started to ask God and, and start questioning things. Um, but it was mainly certain, there's, there's, uh, you know, Surah An Nisa, chapter 4, verse 157. Mm -hmm. um, that verse about Jesus, but then also about um, Surah Maryam, chapter 19, okay. verse 15, and verse 33 to 34, um, saying that Jesus was born, died, and raised alive. Okay. Uh, I remember reading this and thinking, okay, he's been raised alive. You know, as a, you know, like Imams are telling me that he's not died. Um, Chapter three, verse three of the Quran says to believe in the the Torah and the Injil, but then scholars are saying don't believe. Um, so I started just to read the Bible as well. I started reading Guru Granth Sahib, and you know, started comparing religions. Um, and then yeah, I started to get to the point where my heart started to outgrow the moral values of the Quran itself. What, you know, like, what do you think about the Muslims? They, you know, like when the Muslims they speak about uh, uh, about Islam is the only true religion, and, uh, um, and, and like I'm trying to understand when they you you were not a Muslim before, right? You converted to Islam, correct? Well, uh, I was, but I'm half Pakistani, half English. Oh, okay, so you are a Muslim so, from Muslim family. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But so it's kind of like since broad. you are a child, what make you in the beginning feel like believe that Islam is 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 okay religion i mean if there is anything at least well i i had a bit of a different experience where um i was in the british army myself um and i started to see that the world was there was a bigger thing going on in the world but i didn't really know i didn't have a i didn't really have a dean i was just labeled as a muslim basically um and it was only when later on in my life i had an I questioned, you know, is God real in my heart one time? And I had an experience, which I now know as the Holy Spirit. Mm. Um, because my family were Muslims, yeah. I associated that with Allah. And I went on a journey where I went, I started to, to pray. I started to study and to seek God. Um, and I think, to be honest, it's it was one of them where it was a very clever deception. Because, you know, like going to the gym, when you do something, when you when you do something for a reward, it feels good. So when I was praying and I was learning the Quran, you know, like just by memory, I was feeling good, feeling like, okay, I'm pleasing God, or I thought I was. <laughs> yeah. It's, so it's, it's time focus, focus, and make you believe that you are uh, there's a, there's a, there's deeds you can accomplish by, like the same as a machine. You are yeah, in, yeah. you're in the gym, like there's a, it shows you that you burn how many calories. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So yeah. They, they yeah. Try to definitely. fool you that there's deeds you are building by doing certain things, and one of them is praying to Allah five times a day. That's deeds. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah, but I, re I remember going to see this. Um, uh, he was a, a mufti. Uh, he ran a school and he had a bookstore and all this. And and I was, it was at the time I was seeking, like you know, they called bait, um, mm -hmm. like a spiritual father kind of guiding you. And um, I remember say, speaking to him. And he, and he said, right, from the age of 11, calculate how many prayers you've missed and then start trying to catch all these prayers up. And I remember walking back from this, right, because I was sincerely trying to find God. <laughs> yeah. And I remember walking back thinking, right, how many times do I have to pray a day then to catch up? You know, to break, break through all these veils. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but, well, you know, uh, uh, what about your family, my friend? They are so, they still Muslims? 
so my my dad, yeah, my dad's still a Muslim. Uh, my mum passed away when I was younger, um, but my family is still Muslims. Um, but the Lord, um, I've got a step mum. Um, the Lord actually healed her. Uh, I prayed for her one time, and she, the Holy Spirit came and 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 she used to get migraines every day, and she instantly healed. She could feel the heat on her head. And she was like shocked to the point where a week later, she's then asked me to pray for someone else in the family. Um, and obviously this was it's, it's very new because obviously in Islam, like me being a believer so many years and stuff going deep in and, and never seen anything happen. And I suddenly believe in Jesus Christ, gave my, law, uh, gave my life, got baptized. Uh, but, but there's some, something I actually want to share with you actually, CP. Um, okay. I've got a, on YouTube, I've got a video where God spoke, where God spoke to me. And he said he was going to show me a sign at my baptism. And, you know, this is the difference between Allah and, and Jesus that, you yeah. know, it's a relationship and, and we hear from God. Um, so I rang my friend Jacob and I said, when I get baptized, make sure you record it. So uh, if you go um, type in transition in faith. I'll send you the link actually. All right. And basically, there's a sign that comes when I get baptized, and when you'll see it, you'll obviously know that from the it's 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 signs that are in the Bible as well. Um, so when I did get baptized, and I was telling my family, I showed them this sign, um, and and they all actually cried. Uh, <laughs> it was quite extraordinary, really. That's beautiful. Well, I'm I'm happy for you, my friend, for your experience. And you know, Christianity is an experience more than just the details. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference between us and Muslims that Muslims are based their all their religion is based on excuses and false fictions. As an example, like as you see here, the Muslim trying to convince us that the reason he was praying in the direction of the Kaaba, uh, it is just because Allah he wanted to know who is a Muslim who's not. But this is a funny excuse because Allah he's God. Yeah, he yeah. can know he can know who is a Muslim who is not. You pray in the direction of the Kaaba or not. Mm -hmm. Same time, the Muslims they ignore the fact that the Quran make it clear that the earth is a flat. Mm -hmm. So this is not just a it's just like a, a direction of to pray. It is literally a direction to pray in a flat land, a flat earth. Yeah. So yeah. the Muslims always they try to convince you and they try uh, like try to fool you says okay we have similarity with the bible but if if that similarity is exist that's because muhammad was trying to copy the christians mm -hmm. to copy the jews and he is a thief we asked mm -hmm. the muslim why muhammad was praying toward jerusalem they have no answer here we go mm -hmm. did, did, did you uh, ever ask yourself why muhammad was praying toward jerusalem no but I, that did come in question at one point i remember speaking to someone um because i had a few Christians on, on my journey as well, speaking to me, asking me questions. And um, obviously the, the Islamic understanding is that because uh, Allah didn't want to associate those who turned away from him, that he made a new direct prayer. This is your video? Yeah, yeah. So if you can see me as a, as a Muslim, but if you go further on. Um, okay. is, is it okay if we play it all of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. Right. Guys, we, uh, we will play the video for you. This is him. As uh, our brother here, he said in the video, I'll play it from the beginning. Is the is the video contain any music which is not allowed? No, no, it's just instrumental. I mean, does it have any copyright or anything? Um, oh, maybe. Um, okay. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's uh, yeah. Because we don't want to get a flag by uh, Facebook. So M maybe is... just view it then, just in case. Cause I'm not hundred yeah. percent sure. So this is you when you were a Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah. And so I assume from the clothes that you were a, a, a Sunni Muslim. Yeah, yeah, I was Sunni, yeah. All right. Okay, so that's good. Like I see here, I want to see what part you are talking there. So Wh which which part of the video you are talking? I don't, I don't want all to right. Like... Yeah, yeah. So it literally, this just shows a little clips of me. This was on Jamaat, so I used to go around knocking on doors, asking people to come to the mosque and stuff. All right. uh, a couple of minutes in, I think it's two minutes, um, if you go 50 the way, half the way through. All right. Let us see. I will let it go as it is until I... I hear the music, but little by little. I don't want to... Because sometimes you play something and there's a copyright of music in the back, you know? Yeah. And, and then YouTube, they flag you for that. They say copyright issue. 
I think this is one of the, you know, generic. Okay, this is when you get baptized? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so this is it. So two days before, if you want to pause it now, CP, uh, two days before I was going to get baptised, um, God spoke to me and I heard his voice saying, I'm going to show you a sign. So I rang my friend and I've told him, and then this is the river where I'm going to be baptised. And when I come out of the river, watch what sign comes, CP. So, you know, like the sign with Noah and the... And the... the rainbow. Yeah, yeah, so watch, watch this, CP, exactly where I was as well. And the rain beautiful all right now watch where the end is cp it's amazing absolutely i wish you are talking there i see this on the music do you have a, a video of you talking uh yeah yeah it's about 18 minutes long uh <laughs> yeah it's a testimony of everything what happened yeah um, maybe if you allow me to play it uh, some other time we can play it with your permission yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i think the main thing i want to do is just you know really encourage you christian prince um that you know i've been through a little bit of persecution and a lot of christians were saying to me oh you know don't don't you know just talk about jesus don't you know spend time trying to minister to muslims in that way saying that they're wrong and and stuff like that and coming across your ch uh, channel it's just this is the true gospel of of Darkness needs to be revealed so that they, they know what the light is. I mean, yeah, yeah. I appreciate your work, my friend. That's wonderful. And awesome. don't, 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 let, let me tell you something will happen to you, uh, which happened to me always. You will mm -hmm. find people who they are claiming to be Christian, they will, in, this, not, they will not encourage you, they will discourage you. Yeah, yeah. They will even put you down. They will, they will put you down, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, guys, if you if you don't mind, those who like, I'm going to pause his channel. Those who like, we have five, we have seven hundred people here, so maybe mm -hmm. we can increase his subscription right away, one thousand today. All right. If you don't mind, if you can subscribe to his page, this is his YouTube. I'm posting it. Feel free, please. You will lose nothing if you subscribe. And here, what this brother he says to you in his experience as an ex-Muslim. My uh, wife. Uh, my wife as well, um, I've known each other from we 18, we got married recently but she's also an ex-Muslim. Mm -hmm. uh, she had dreams where she, she had people telling her that Jesus was the Messiah and she had some demonic dreams as well about demons saying that Jesus was not the Messiah. But the videos that you see there is we were recent, went on our honeymoon and we did a mission for God, uh, just went out sharing, praying for people and just, you know, declaring that Jesus is Lord. and. Yeah, it was amazing, man.